Hey everyone, uh, Church of SDFU. Uh, I just wanted to say something about the recent credit downgrade of the US. So, I mean, what basically happened is the S&P 500, um, who do ratings, uh, decided that the US was no longer as trustworthy um, in terms of repaying their debts as they have been in the past and downgraded their um, trust in US bonds. Now the important thing about that whole deal is of course that it has no actual special validity or or any kind of real force. It's just a bunch of people working for S&P, uh, the Standard & Poor's, saying that the US is no longer as trustworthy as before. Now, the interesting thing about that is that it was, of course, the rating agencies that contributed in a huge way to the uh, financial crisis by vastly overrating all of these very dodgy uh, finance instruments that then came apart so spectacularly. Things that shouldn't have been rated AAA that were, that should have been rated basically as junk. And this gets me to a different point, which is this idea that a lot of anarcho-capitalists have and a lot of libertarians have, that you don't need regulation. What you can do is you can just use trust. And people will only trust um, reliable people, and therefore if you mess up, then people trust you less. And so it's kind of another economy, except this one doesn't use money, it uses trust, or you could even say that um, you can turn trust into money. Uh, and therefore, just like with the normal economy, the free market of trust will make sure that the people we deal with are trustworthy because the only people that most people will deal with are these trustworthy people. To me, these rating agencies prove that concept false because there's really nothing. Uh, all that talk about crony capitalism, there's really nothing that's preventing a competitor to come up and do its own ratings which are more reliable. Um, there's no regulation from the government that's saying you have to listen to these guys. There is no uh, special secret conspiracy to keep these rating agencies in power. It's just that everyone's pretty much aware that they have a lot of insider connections, that they are really big players, they have a lot of power built up in terms of those insider connections. And so, as far as it goes, they're probably uh, the most reliable because they have this power even if they quite often um, through their total corruption because they basically take money for good ratings um, even though through that total corruption they frequently give very very misleading or just plain wrong ratings even though that's the case because they're so powerful um, no competitor comes and replaces them when they've been shown to be utterly untrustworthy. And what's more, everyone still hangs on their every word, even as a lot of people say, why are we doing this? This is crazy. Um, these guys took totally messed up the last time. It wasn't even, you know, they couldn't have been more wrong. But that's how I see this whole system as going. Um, a lot of right-wing libertarians and uh, anarcho-capitalists to me seem to um, want to imply like there's only one kind of power, that's political power. So if we get rid of political power then we'll be fine and the world will uh, be good and people won't be able to accumulate this ill-gained uh, power and therefore there won't be any tyrants, there won't be any nasty governments or other groups that force you to do anything. Uh, I think most left-wing libertarians like myself see, uh, think that there are many different forms of power and uh, the power of capital is one of those powers and the power of connections and they don't have to be political connections, they can be connections to other power players uh, no matter where exactly their power comes from, it could be political, it could be economic power, 
Uh, it could even be, um, say, religious or other cultural power. If you have a lot of those power connections, then just like these rating agencies which, hatch with, which have a lot of those power connections, then you will be able to game the system, you will be able to cheat and be corrupt, and you will be able to get away with it just like they have. And people still won't have a they won't ditch you just because you're in such a good position and you still have so many contacts that just put you into more competitive position even if you're not dealing fairly and that is why I as a left-wing libertarian think that we need to address all forms of power we should not let people accumulate political power but we should also not let people accumulate economic power because too much economic power in the hands of the few is exactly as dangerous as any other kind of power. And for now, we should definitely stop listening to rating agencies because they're a bunch of Muppets. I'll see you guys all later.